guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Green's episode 10 of War Suki. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> are, are you serious? See, I bet some of y'all are probably wondering why the hell this didn't come out like hours ago. Um, when this comes out tomorrow, how about time you're looking at this? Look at the comments, it'll be the first pinned comment, and I will explain everything. I'll what the hell transpired today? Like, a lot transpired today. I, I, it was somewhat of a good... It was more of a good day than a bad day. There were some bad moments today. For the reasons that I don't really want to talk about. But it was still a good day. Go play! Someone, okay, a short girl. Oh, okay. <laughs> you got a crush on him, too? Is she serious? Yes! I have a crush on Sunshine. Yes, Bench Time is back once again. Mm-hmm. Yep, let's just go. Wouldn't it just be so much better if Jodo would just explain to this girl about the whole thing in a nutshell? Did 
damn, you figured it out that quick? Mm, you're right about that, though. <laughs> I mean, it's so obvious. She's probably the most weirdest character in this show. <laughs> oh, Cody, oh my god. But we know this isn't going to work. I mean, come on now. Why did I have a feeling you would have been sitting there listening? I don't know what the fuck, girl. I'm sorry, baby. Oh my god. I don't think so. It's a possibility, but I don't know. It's really, really likely. Because we all know Pansy's in love with you, so there's no way in hell.
Uh, yeah, at least you tried, honey. No, no, no. You tried your best. A for effort. You still a good girl. This girl a little too freaking much. I mean, you tell me still. No one has let her on on this information. I want to roll my eyes so bad at this girl. I can't win her. Yeah. I, I don't think she really meant you to actually do that, but okay. Exactly. I mean, come on, damn it. <laughs> oh. oh, shit. Everybody's here. She, oh my god, she, I, I don't know. No, she is cringy as fuck, I'm sorry. The way she humming and the way she look, she might kill him.
Well, yeah, I mean, now it's different and everything, but... I mean, she's a reporter. She got to do her research. Huh? I mean, it was obvious, though. But it is. Mm. Tom Pum
Oh, it's a picture of you, isn't it? Mm hmm. What was the sign in the faculty? Oh! Hold up. No, no. That is some bullshit. Is that the reason why she hasn't said... That's why she was so fucking quiet during this damn episode. But I was like, it is really weird for Cosmos not to be saying something. There's something on her mind. Maybe it's like, I would have never assumed that it was, yeah, the school library would close. I'm thinking it was something like family problems or something that she relatively didn't want to talk about because you got to think about this. Like, when it's your friends and their family problems, yes, there are ones who are going to be like, I want to confine in my friends. And then there are the types of people who don't really necessarily want to because, I, I mean, I've met some people who are kind of like that. They don't really want to be judged by that but then if you want someone to talk to about it then yes you have a right to say what you want to say but then you also have a right to not say everything that you need to say it's just if you need someone to talk to at the right moment then yeah say something if not keep it to yourself but okay what the fuck okay i i do like tom popo i do but she is a little cringeworthy. Like, there were points where I was like, this cute little girl is not serious, right? And then it's like, oh, she is serious. But, I mean, I think that's just something... I think if there, if she's going to be in the next episode, maybe my demeanor about her might, you know, soften a little bit. But as of right now, I think it's more of a love-hate relationship with her. I, I, like, I like her, but I'm not... I you know what? I'm gonna take that back. It's not a love-hate. I want to say it's a love-dislike right now, because I don't 100% hate her. I thought she was a little annoying in the episode, and I'm just like... Not, like, annoying where it's like, I really want to, like, take my headphones off and not even watch the rest of this fucking episode. I get the fact that, you know, she did what she did for her own reasons and such, but... It feels like, in a way, like, I do, I feel like I've known her a little bit more, but then that points in time in the episode, I felt like we took one minute, we were taking two steps forward, and then we were taking, like, a thousand steps back, and I just want to know her for her, and not for the fact that it's like, oh, yeah, you know Pansy, you have history of Pansy, because you guys were somewhat friends, I don't want to say acquaintances, but somewhat of a friend, in a way that they consider each other, but then also what the fact is, like, you kind of just want to know uh, things about her, but not everything about the fact that she wants to go in and be like, I want to give Pansy a boyfriend because of this, that, and there, this stuff that Pansy was talking about to Jodo. And essentially, but to see Jodo and Asuna <laughs> working together was honestly really interesting. I mean, it's the second episode where they work together as a team, even though with the first episode, it was a little bit. Uh, but still, it was really nice. I mean, Tempo, she... She is officially now one of those girls. I don't think she's necessarily in the group of... Do I want to say this is a harem? Not really, but it it, it kind of is at a point. But the thing is... Well, no, because in a way, they're all in love with him. They're all in love with Jodo. I mean, shit. In their own special way. But I, but you can't really ca count her on that. Because she's not in love with him. Because I was like, oh my god, like this girl... You see the bench, and I was like, yep, you're gonna say it, and you're gonna be like, I love Sunshine. No, I want you to get Sunshine and Pansy together. And I'm like, wait, what? That's why I was like, does she not know? I was like, unless this girl is really lying to my face, or she's been under a rock, because then I kind of remembered she was the one who was talking about the beautiful girl, Pansy, and like a couple episodes ago. So I was like, okay, so no, you know of Pansy initially like that. I was like, so then you gotta know the situation of all what's happened between episode one to episode nine. So, so she possibly, what she did is like, anytime when she saw Jodo, even though she knew everything, maybe, she kept that under the rug. She was like, mm, we're just gonna go ahead and get this done. But, yeah. She's a little funny at times. A little bit, yeah, different and weird in sense. But she's a very interesting character. And I hope that with these last few episodes that we have before, we're essentially done with the show. I hope that she gets a little more time to shine. I mean, yes, this episode was really about her and Pansy, 
but I kind of want other moments in, I think, the last three episodes that we have for this show. Um, for her to either just take some moments and just have that little shine. Because, you know, everybody has it. So, I mean, it's cute. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episode 10 of Orsuki. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday. For episode 11, once again, I am so sorry this didn't come out yesterday. Um, like I said, the reason will be in the comments below. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!